still haunt me to this day. But you did, yes, you did. And I knew to say my name, ignite my circuits and start a flame. But you did. Oh, turpentine, erase me whole I don't want to live my life alone <coughs> Well, now that you've caught me singing uh, I'm going to talk today about a certain someone And that someone is that robot that you just watched The one in the front, the one with the cool hat Okay, there's three of them with cool hats. The one with the red gloves. Um, that is the robot known as Rabbit from the band called Steam Powered Giraffe of which I am a psychotic fan. I don't know. need a good word. I'm more than just a fan. Um, they have two albums right now. And they're working on their third, or whatever. And there's another song of theirs I like, which is this one. Ever since the first time I opened my eyes, I've awakened to the same thing. Other automaton friends roughly built like me. The first time I opened my mouth to speak, a steam escaped to the air. And black oil dripped from my lips and onto the ground. <coughs> Damn it. Um, yeah, so. A little bit more than just your average fan, because I've now done it twice. That's just embarrassing. But, regardless, it shows my love for this band. Thing is, is when you start following a band like this one, who are very still indie, you learn more about the people than you ever thought you would. You start to like these people. As much as I know it's a near impossibility what with me being in Indiana than being in California I feel like the Bennett brothers who portray Rabbit and Spine who is the silver robot from the two videos I feel like we could hang out I say this about a lot of celebrities and it kind of pisses off my wife but there are some celebrities that I just feel like I could sit down with and have a talk have fun. I mean, it's not like I'm thinking we'd play board games together. I mean, I'm sure there are some celebrities like... Okay, I'm not going to use names. I'm sure there are some celebrities that if I met them in person and we started talking, I could convince to, like, play a game of Munchkin. But, I just think these are people who are, are genuinely awesome people. Like John Green, Hank Green. You know, celebrities on the internet are becoming... They're becoming humans. <laughs> Let's use that. Used to be celebrities, you were you were starstruck by these people because you knew you could never, ever be like them. You could never touch them. You could never converse with them, save if you saw them, and then they might give you an autograph. Internet celebrity is different. Like, at its core, it's different. It's it's heartbreaking in, on some levels because you learn things that you just you never you never thought you were going to learn. Oh, hey, let's see you there. I'm just lifting weights like I always do because you know I want to get buff. Stay, I'm gonna stay bolt. Buff, so you. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to my room. My name is Bunny Bennett, and 
If you didn't already know, I play Rabbit in Steam Powered Giraffe. Yeah, so that's Bunny Bennett. Awesome person. Love to meet him sometime. Or her. Or it. Depending on what Bunny's wearing at the time. What follows in that video is an honest opening of herself to the internet. She strips open her private life and lays it bare. And instead of making it seem like a bad thing, like is so easy to do these days, she uses it as a motivation for strength. And I will have a link above my face at some point during this, probably right around now. And I will have it in the Swooly Boop. Uh, underneath the video, along with links to the two music videos, um, but inspiring things like this I keep seeing coming out of internet communities, and as much as I'm a very, very, very small fish in a very, very, very big pond, I wanted to comment on these things because this is this is a faith in humanity restored moment. Over the past couple months I've been having some some personal um mental issues. I have a whole gaggle of issues that I should be on medication for, but I just can't afford can't even afford to go to the doctor to get them re-diagnosed, so they give me the proper medicine. But over the past month, I keep finding things I've watched. Let's see, there was uh, the David Foster Wallace commencement speech, which sadly didn't really get popular till after he killed himself. Um, it's amazing. This is water. I'll have a link in the swoodly boot. Um, and then... I'd, I'd essentially been like, this one, and the Baz Luhrmann, sunscreen, everyone knows it, graduation song, right? I'm like, these two things, these will help me figure out my life. And then it didn't. And then, John Green's commencement speech to Butler when he became honorary doctorized, which is amazing for a person with just a bachelor's degree. And it's amazing, and I salute you, sir, because I wish I had that kind of luck. I I know it's a journey from strength to weakness, but I'm so far down right now, I'm not sure where my strength is right now. But I will get there. Because of these three things, I started looking up at life again. And then Bunny came along, posted this video. My wife and I had been talking about it for a while because we're like, is he, isn't she, is, is, is she, isn't he? Um, it seems that way. And then it, it kind of finally was made knowledge to me via Tumblr. And I was like, that's awesome that, you know, Bunny can be who Bunny wants to be. And then she posted the video about it getting better. And I can only hope to be that kind of person at some point in my life. I'm not nearly influential enough right now to make this an It Gets Better video that makes any sort of logical sense or will reach anybody other than like five or six people knowing my luck. But... This blog's mostly for me more than anybody else. And so I wholeheartedly want to thank Bonnie Bennett for posting this video, showing everyone your strength, and telling people that it is the community around you that gives you that strength. It's not just you. 
you don't it's the the hero's journey is the journey from strength to weakness as John Green would put it and that strength that you get both when you're that full of yourself college student until you become that monotonous wage labor person again that strength is not just you you are the core of it but there are people to support you and I'm glad to know Bunny Bennett is in my corner I urge anybody who is in the LGBTQ community myself included I identify as pansexual um, and my wife who identifies as queer I urge anybody who's in the community either as an LGBTQ person or as an ally spread Bunny's video make it spread like wildfire so that we can see that we have a great person in our corner she's in our corner because she knows what it's like to need people and I'm in her corner because if she's got my back I have hers so with that I will uh, bid you all adieu um, don't forget to be awesome. Love, peace, and chicken grease, yo. And fill your lives with love. And support those who need it. And realize that those same people or others that you may not even recognize are supporting you too. Because we're out there. I support you. Goodbye.